Varroa destructor, a reportable pest of honeybees in England, Scotland and Wales. The Varroa mite is a serious threat to honeybees. The mites feed on the honeybee's fat bodies and can transmit several viruses, affecting the bee and her colony's ability to survive. Varroa reached England in 1992. The mites spread rapidly and are now endemic in most parts of the UK. Only some isolated parts of Scotland and some islands are free from the mite. To help us understand the varroa mite spread and to comply with new livestock export laws, the UK government made varroa a reportable pest on the 21st of April 2021. To help you identify varroa in your hives, it is important to understand their life cycle and their basic biology. Varroa feed on the fat bodies of the bee by making punctures through the body wall with their sharp mouth parts. Mites have a preference for adult nurse bees. During the summer, mites live for two to three months and transfer from bee to bee and brood cell to brood cell. In the winter, the mites survive on adult bees in the winter cluster. To breed, an adult female mite enters a brood cell just prior to capping. Mites prefer drone brood, but will also breed in worker brood. Four hours after capping, the female mite begins to feed off the bee larvae. She establishes one feeding site that will be used by her and her offspring. Sixty to seventy hours after the cell is capped, the varroa mite lays her first egg. She continues to lay at 30 hour intervals. The male hatches first, followed by the females. The mites mate within the cell. The mite develop through two juvenile stages, the protonymph and the deutonymph, before becoming an adult. Males take five to six days to mature from egg to adult, females six to seven days. The duration of each reproductive cycle is limited by the development time of the bee, so more mites are produced in drone brood than in worker brood. Mature female mites leave the cell with the emerging bee. Immature females and the males do not survive outside the cell. The varroa mite is about the size of a pinhead, 1.6 millimetres by 1.1 millimetres. She is quite flat in shape, so she can tuck herself into the bee's segments and not fall off during flight. She has a reddish brown oval body and she has eight legs. Confirming you have varroa mites in your hives is a simple process. If you use an open mesh floor, you may find the mites amid the colony debris. If you use solid floors on your hives, you can use an uncapping fork to discover whether you have varroa. You will simply uncap a forkful of drone brood and you may find the mites on the pupating bees. As you can see from the picture, they stand out very clearly against the white pupa. Reporting the presence of Varroa Destructor. If you are registered with the National Bee Unit on BeeBase, log into your account. There is a tick box on each apiary you manage, which you can tick if Varroa Destructor is present in your hives. If you do not wish to register on BeeBase, there is a simple form to fill in to comply with the regulations without having to pass your details onto the National Bee Unit. When you have found Varroa in your hives, you will need to manage the colony to protect your bees. There are almost no bees completely free from Varroa mites in the UK. They easily travel from hive to hive on the backs of visiting honeybees. To reduce the damage caused by varroa to your honeybee colonies, you need to monitor the mites numbers regularly and treat when necessary. Treatments can be by using approved chemical treatments or by practical management techniques or using a combination of the two 
which is known as integrated pest management. To find a wealth of information about Varroa and other bee pests, visit our website www.nationalbeeunit.com. If you're a beekeeper in England, Scotland or Wales, sign up to BeeBase. BeeBase supports the aims of the Healthy Bee Plan 2030, protecting and sustaining our national bee stocks. Add details of your bees and apiaries and support the MBU in protecting bee health. Your local inspector can provide comprehensive help and advice. Visit our contact section on the website.